Hi, welcome to Zopac Medical. This video will explain how to use the Zopac Explore 8000 UPS battery. When you receive your battery, you should have six different things. You have the battery, a user manual, a fast car charger. This is only if you bought the 2021 model. Um, a wall charger, which has two components. It has the, the plug and the AC adapter. A nice um, um, travel pouch and a storage box that the battery came with. The first thing you receive your battery is to charge your battery. To charge it, you would plug in to the charge port, which is on the side of the battery. It says DC in. And um, you take your wall charger, just plug in the side, and then plug in the wall and you will see the uh, capacity counter flashing and that means it's charging. Depending on the capacity when you receive your battery, Zopac is for 8,000 can take up to about eight hours to uh, charge from full depletion. We recommend that you would just charge overnight and not look at the capacity counter because it doesn't charge linearly. At the initial charge, it might be stuck at a certain number for many hours, and that's normal. The battery is calibrating itself with the capacity counter. So after it's fully charged at 100%, it will indicate uh, FF, which stands for full. So, after it's fully charged, um, you're ready to use the battery. So how to run a CPAP machine. So let me do a demonstration. I have a drink station here. And um, to turn the battery on, all you have to do is the on and off switch is on the top. And uh, you just press and hold. And um, the capacity counter will light up. And to turn on the outlets, you just slide the outlet switch uh, to on and the red LED light will light up. That means there's power to the AC outlets. Okay. So to run your CPAP machine, there is no adapters needed. So instead of plugging into the wall, normally, you just plug it in to the battery. So there are two AC outlets in the front. Now they look a little different because they are universal outlets that can take plugs from all around the world. Um, so you would just plug it in, okay? And now you see the drink station powers up and um, you just, um, Start it and drink station runs. It's that simple. Okay. To set up the UPS, um, all you have to do is plug in the wall charger so the wall power can go through and power the device. And make sure that um, it is fully charged before you start because you want to make sure that when there's a power outage, you have 100% reserve power to run your CPAP machine. So it should be at FF before you start the machine. And um, the next thing is to check if the UPS setup is correct, uh, working properly. You just wear your mask and then start your therapy and make sure that you look at the capacity counter and it stays at FF 100%. It doesn't drain. Now, for Explore 8000, 
the UPS level is what we call gold. It can handle CPAP or BiPAP machine and humidifier from low to mid level, but not anymore and not with heated tube. So if you want to run humidifier max or um, with heated tube, then you need to upgrade to the platinum um, UPS, which is the export oxygen or the beast. So the beast can handle um, pretty much all settings of um, with CPAP, BiPAP, with um, humidifier and heat hose, but uh, Explore 8000 would be any CPAP, BiPAP setting, but the humidifier is only um, low to mid setting and no heated tube, okay? So if you start seeing the battery drains a little bit, you wanna turn down your humidifier setting until it stays at 100%. If you want to run more humidity, uh, then you have to upgrade to explore oxygen. Okay, so um, there are three charging options. So we demonstrate the wall charger. You can use the car charger that comes with for your RV or your uh, car cigarette lighter or the 12 volt um, outlet and then they, it goes into the SAM DC charge port you just plug it in and plug it in to the port um, it's 45 watts it charges almost the same speed as in the house so it charges really fast now if you go to a remote area uh, there's an optional solar panel you can get and uh, the solar panel comes in with um, two plugs and all you have to do is that you open up your solar panel and while the plug is for extension while the plug is for charging so if you don't use the extension cord you just plug in the charging cord and to the DC in charge port and you will see that the battery start charging. Now some um, customers go hiking and they like to put the solar panel on top of the car and have the battery inside the car so they need to have extension. So it comes with an extension and all you have to do is plug into the extension port and then plug the other end um, to the charging port and it will charge. If you have any questions, please contact us anytime. You can find our contact information on zopac.com and we have a lot more videos um, to help you to learn if there are specific topics like UPS or power consumption um, or how to select the proper battery if interested. Thank you.